in the activities of entrepreneurship, you will be also able to use in your job. Entrepreneurship will teach you various business skills. You can use them easily out there as a business leader. You know, business leader doesn't have to be the one uh, who is the owner of the business. Anyone can be a leader. Leader is not to be necessarily be in a position of power or a rank. Anyone who takes initiative is a leader in my mind. And of course, today the people also define it that way. So every manager, every individual at whatever level he or she works is a leader. And you have a sense of entrepreneurship, why you need to become the entrepreneur, why we are uh, trying to uh, instill the skills of entrepreneurship uh, in our students, why we are talking about it. The reason is that, that uh, during the last, uh, over the past decade, the, our country has consolidated as a very good market whether, it, whether you talk about an IT sector, you talk about health sector, you talk about agriculture, you talk about pharma, you talk about any sector. In, uh, in you Initiated a formal leadership talk series and this series, if I say what's new about it, you often have leaders as faculty members whom you take up as your ideals. Your parents who might be your ideals in some way or the other. And there are other motivators and the source of inspirations that you have in your life. But we as an academic institution have the onus that how we can provide you the variety of the ways in which and this classroom learning might be giving you the content related to your syllabus, some anecdotes, some kind of storytelling by your teachers, but when it comes to the ground realities of the business world, the corporate world where you will be serving, there the living institutions who have witnessed the cruelties. Right. I think that is the same background which might go in. Clearly. So let us understand entrepreneurship in a broader way today. Entrepreneurship, while we see people as people who create their own industries, please understand entrepreneurship today is not a choice. Even as a business leader, you are meant to become an entrepreneur. And if you are an entrepreneur, you will remain as a business leader. And 3% of all the humankind that has ever existed today live in South Asia. And UP itself is 1% of the entire volume of human population that has ever existed. Which means every generation, we are not growing by one generation. We are growing by at least 1.2 to 1.3 generations. That today in Twitter, there are more than 2.3 managers for every coder. Right? Why? Because these were jobs which were true in the past, not true anymore. And therefore, we need to start looking at this entire interface between industry and education in an entirely different way. Entrepreneurship is just one way. There could be alternate ways, uh, like social sectors. I mean, people talk of creating change through proactive working. People talk of revolution, <laughs> right? But yes, if it becomes a bit kind of an uh, extreme. But if you are not looking at extremes, this becomes the only solution. Number two, he did not find spices. And the third implicit guarantee that he had given to convert all indigenous natives of India to Christianity was also never achieved. All three things that he, that he had promised, he failed. But he opened up an entirely new dimension for humankind. And that is what we call our new world. And without the discovery of this new world, the entire advent of globalization would never have happened. The second person in the middle, I mean, is a person called Robert Clive, also called the Clive of India, who is single-handedly responsible for the 200 years of our oppression. 
प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड अ गुड ऑन्टरप्रिनर बनने से पहले देखो वी हैव दिस लॉस्टेड आइडिया ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप कि बड़ा गाड़ी चलाता है फलाना ठिकाना करता है बट एक ऑन्टरप्रिनर सबसे पहले अपनी कंपनी का चपरासी होता है मतलब <laughs> एक चपरासी का तो वर्किंग शिफ्ट होगा तुम्हारा नहीं होगा ठीक है अगर वो एक जगह स्वीप नहीं करता है सबसे पहले आप मॉर्निंग में उठ के उसको स्वीप करोगे From MBA first year student, uh, can you please let me know about what is the relationship between competitiveness and entrepreneurship? Competitiveness is something which we believe will create a market edge, right? Entrepreneurship you do because you want to create a market edge.